Bienvenidos, mi gente. ¿Cómo están? It's raining outside. So today's Saturday. Um, I made my, my Saturday in the shop kind of short. As we all know, Saturdays in a barber shop, you know, Saturdays in the shop are real. Saturdays are popping. I wanted to make my Saturday short and I wanted to work on a video. So, did it for you guys. We're having a connection right now. We're having a moment. We're having a moment. This is this is the bond between the subscribers, the followers, the 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 supporters of this channel and me with you. J hits on the beat. Look, this is where it gets real. Uh, so me, by like year three, I was starting to be told not to wet curly hair and just cut it and just cut it dry, guys. So just understand where I'm at right now. I know there, there's definitely going to be better ways, but this is just my reality. I cut it dry and uh, uh, just like many other clients, I slightly struggled with it, right? You know, so I'm cutting it down and I'm trying to figure out what length should I keep it. It's not like he has like real tight curls. His curls are pretty loose. And as I'm cutting away, chopping away at his 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 hair, I'm starting to realize there's no more curls. You know, and again guys, I was thinking maybe I maybe should maybe maybe Bird shouldn't cut it low. Maybe you know, Bird, you don't gotta go that low. You know, we can keep the curls and I'm just chopping away and I'm looking at it and I'm like, yo, there's no more curls. <laughs> I'm just chopping away and I'm like, mm. And he look at his eyes. He's like, man, where are we going with this? <laughs> Where are we going with this, Fonz? Good thing that he wanted it short already. All I gotta say, there's a happy ending, I promise, I promise. So that's why I could do this. That's why I could say this. It's because I know there's a happy ending. I don't think I would share this if there wasn't a happy ending. But then again, I maybe I, I would. Yeah. That's just how I am. So anyways, I'm, I'm over here just using number four. Just trying to bring it down. The front is poking. It's poking out. It's poking out and I'm just chopping away. I'm trying to figure it out. Look at the look at the comb. I'm trying to comb it around. I'm trying to figure it out. And so I'm bringing the number two. I'm bringing it up to the ridge. To the ridge. Figuring it out. Come on, Fonz. We can do this. I know I'm feeling the pressure, but I'm not giving up, baby. Because Chris Loco told me the difference between a good barber and a bad one is that a good one can mess up and figure it out still and still come out with a good outcome. So right here, I'm wetting the hair. I didn't choose to give up. I'm wetting the hair and I'm drying it down. So I'm drying it out. I'm trying to redirect the direction. Redirect the direction. I'm trying to manipulate the hair. That's what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to manipulate the hair and make it lay down. Sounds familiar, right? Like waves, but we're not, you know, he, he doesn't have waves, right? And so because I saw so many uneven spots and you can see it clearly, like your boy right here is finding some longer spots, some short spots, some mid spots, and then, um, you know, we're just trying to even it out here. And I'm adding texture. I'm not just going for the blunt, the blunt cut. I need to add texture. I need to figure out how to not leave those bulky lines. You know, when you cut and you cut that bulk line, when you, when you do a blunt cut, you leave a blunt line. When you look at your client's head and you see just a blunt line, you gotta soften it up. How do you soften it up, guys? How do you soften it up? Tell me. Tell me how you soften it up. By angling the shears and adding some texture, baby. Yeah. By doing that. By adding some texture. Where are my shears? You gotta add. Mira, mira. You gotta add some. Viste. Viste. Así. Así. Síguelo. So after I did all that, I, I, I wet the hair again and I added some clay. And I'm just like, yo, by any means necessary, we're gonna lay this hair down. So I brought it back. I brought the vac vacuum, what the heck? Well, Dyson does make vacuum, so you know, I can't, I'm not completely wrong there, but you know, I brought out the Dyson, I'm trying to lay it down even more. Mira, mira, se está viendo mejor. 
Se está viendo mejor. No lo ve. Look at that. Yeah. What am I doing now? What am I doing now, guys? What do you see? When you look in the mirror, tell me what you see. I see a feather blade. A feather blade. And I'm just softening it up even more. I'm trying to figure it out, guys. I'm trying to figure it out because that's what it's about, baby. Figuring it out. Don't you stop. You keep going. You keep going. Look at that. It started to make sense. So you keep going until it makes yeah. sense. Now guys, I just want to say, there's going to come a day in your life, especially if you're a man. You know, women do get this, but not all women. In his case, in Burgess' case, this is his first ball babe, baby. Let's go, let's go. One time for birds, baby, one time for birds. This was his first ball fade in his 20s. In his 20s, cause some people just wait, baby. I've literally serviced men in their 30s, in their 40s, that waited till then to get their first ball fade. So I wanna congratulate you, Burge, for getting your first ball fade and letting me record that. This is, these are memories, bro. But yeah, I remember when I got my first ball fade. I wanna say that um, it might have been in, in high school, and if not, it was probably always a shadow fade. But I definitely got it done after high school. In college days, ball fades all day. All day. The only thing about ball fades that I don't like is I, I just break out all the time. Um, but, wow, hold up, look at all that hair. Damn, Fonz, Fonz. I hope you cut all that ear hair down. I don't even know if I did. But if you, sir or ma'am, Notice that your client has a lot of the ear hair. Come on now, come on now. You gotta take that down. Get you the trimmers, bring it down. And if you come back with a shaver, even better. But get that, don't forget, okay? Don't forget. But back to what I was saying. In most cases, people like using the shaver because it has a, big, a better transition, a better, a better light to dark. And because of that, you know, people go for it, but not everybody can get it. Not everybody can go for the shavers. And as much as I love to get it, or as much I, as I love the image, the look, my skin just can't take it. So I can't get it done. And if you ever cut my hair and bring those shavers out, made haircut, I'm gone. By the time you turn it on, you put it on the skin, I'm gone. I'm going to your next barber. I'm, I'm telling you right now, my skin is sensitive. I like my feelings. You've been warned. No shaver on my skin. J hits on the B. Is it me or does 
This part of fade process take forever. Este, yo, yo considero que esta parte de, de recorte este, toma mucho tiempo. Yo no sé por qué, mano. Este, me frustra un poco. Un poco. Un poco. <laughs> why? You know, why can it be a one, two, three? I've seen three minute fades. And it takes me more than three minutes to get to, through this part. But once you get through that part, yeah. life gets easier. Or it should get easier, but then you know life has a little bit of, you know what I'm saying? A little, a little bit of this. But we keep moving, baby. Let's go. Miraki, there's times that in a haircut as low as this one, because you know, in the direct, the, at this point, the way we're going, you know, this is almost like old school daddy Yankee type of cut, you know, where he's, you know, he's just bringing it all forward. That, you know, that's the direction we're going with this, right? And there's, there's times I like to line up before I really go far into the fade, but in this situation, in this occasion, you know, I, I chose to fade it out as much as I could. You know, I'm not done with the fade, guys, because I know you can see a little bit from this angle. We're not done, so relax. Okay, so we're going, we're continuing. We're just gonna line it up and frame this thing. I showed you earlier in this video, I went a little bit lower towards the front because you want that area to be a little bit tighter. So, you know, the overhang, does it overhang? And the corners are a little bit light. So I'm thinking to myself, I might throw some color in here, but we're not gonna worry about that right now. We're gonna worry about this lineup, and then if we get to that point, which we will, we'll worry about that then. But we're continuing. I see a little bit of the side, don't worry about that. Don't worry about that because that's for the detail. That is for the detail. So as I'm seeing this, I'm also thinking to myself, today is July 25th. On July 31st, if you haven't renewed your license, it's going to be inspi exp inspired. Inspired Fonz, inspired, expired. That is pretty bad if you haven't renewed it. And guess what? I haven't renewed it. And I'm saying this right now, so I remind myself by the time I'm done editing this video, Fonz, renew your license, please. Look at your license. Look at it. Look at it. Actually, do I have mine? I got a little version of it. I got a little version of it right here. I got a pocket size. Rakata. Expiration date, July 31st, 2020. And little did they know how horrible 2020 was gonna be. But you know what? Just for memories, I might keep this. Okay, there's gonna be some times in your career, in your barber career, in your hair cutting career, that you're gonna make decisions to bring out a tool that you absolutely do not need to bring out funds. What are you doing? Why? What was the purpose of this? You were in your thoughts, not feelings. You were in your thoughts, way too much. There was no reason to bring the long, 10 inch shears out, Fonz. None, none at all. What, put them away. Put them away. Put them away. That should have been left for the end. We're not even done yet, Fonz. Bueno, mi gente, aquí llegó el momento 
que yo estaba la... Uh, um, uh, hold up, bring it back, bring it back, bring it back. Bueno, mi gente, aquí está el momento que estábamos esperando. We're putting some color on his skin. So, check this out. We're trying to, to stain the skin a little bit. You know, make it pop a little, make it more defined. Hey, Burge, if you see this, this is just for video purposes. I'm not going off. Guys, if you think I'm going off, I'm not going off. I literally talk about this with the person. Whatever I'm saying on this video, it's not something I haven't said to the client. And you know, the cool thing about right now is at least clients are wearing masks. Actually, when we get rid of the mask, which by the way, how long do you think we're gonna be having to rock masks in the shop? You know, maybe it'll get to the point where a client doesn't have to rock it, and I'm saying it like they want to rock it. Nobody wants to rock a mask. But how long do you think barbers have to wear a mask? Let me know in the comments below. Oh, and um, while you're doing that, um, you know, just rock out that like button. Let me know what you think about this video. Make sure if you're not subscribed, you're subscribed. But anyways, let's keep going with this video. I just want to add to this video how difficult it was to line this guy up. Burge, it was a struggle. And I'm going to put it out there. I'm gonna, this is going to be an eight mile moment. I am white. I am a fuck. I do feel, I always felt like I could have, I could have brought that corner up a little bit. I could have brought that right corner up more. I was back and forth. There's, there's some footage that I just didn't show. I was on that for a minute, but I was a little scared. I was a little, I, I was just like, I can't keep bringing you up. I was a little scared. And I'm sharing that moment with you guys because I know we all go through it sometimes. I do feel like I, I could have gone a little, a little higher, but you know what? We're gonna look at him now. Look at him, how he used to be. Míralo, míralo bien. Look at how you look, Burge, and look at you now. The right corner could have been higher, but you know what? It's okay, because he still loved it. He didn't want me to shave his beard off though. I wanted to badly. He said he was gonna go home and shave it, that's why I didn't. I normally fade a beard, at least. Even though I'm not doing the beard, I gotta, I gotta at least fade it. But he said he was gonna go home and shave it off, so I didn't do anything to it. Didn't fade it, just keeping it real with you guys. But anyways, mira, mi gente, that's what we did. That's what I did, that's a cut I wanted to share with you. Let me know how would you have done it. Besides all that, mi gente, Mi gente, besides all that though, terminamos esto, we're done. We're gonna move on to the next video, but guess, get, get this, get this though, get this, for real though, but for real, before I get off. If you haven't renewed your license, you might wanna renew your license this weekend. Get it done, stop postponing, because them peoples, you know who I'm talking about, them peoples, they're gonna stop by the shops and they're gonna check that you yeah. are legit. So make sure you're legit. I got a story for y'all one day on not being legit and being caught. Leave it, leave him alone. Leave it alone. Leave it alone. What, you, what, what? No, no, no. Put him down.